because when you're poor, nothing is your fault. Everything. What do, what do they preach to the poor all day long? What do politicians tell the poor all day long? If you read a fucking newspaper, if you watch TV, if you watch the news, what do you get all day long? The rich are stealing the money. Yep. Who's at fault? Whose fault is it? The rich, the business owners, what? the corporations. Yeah. It's not your fault, is it? No. Not, no, it can't possibly be your fault. So, so... Uh, the damage done by politicians, the damage done by teachers, the damage done by society by telling anybody that all of their actions are controlled by the, or telling anybody the opposite, telling them that none of their actions are controlled by them. Every position they put themselves in is their fault. It's absolutely the same as putting a gun to their head. It, abs- it, 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 it is. I lived it. I went through it. I know it inside and out. And politicians, you can go back. It's funny. You can go back. Let's say you go back 70 years and listen to the presidential race, but cut out of the presidential race the fact that it's 70 years ago, right? And just have the just have the uh, the written word. Don't have it recorded. And just make somebody read it. But cut out all of the pieces that would relate to the time in which it's being, you know, at which it was said. It's all the same shit. Yeah. It's the same shit for 70 fucking years. Probably the same shit for 150 years, as far as I know. But for a, a long, long time, it's this 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 bullshit about how no, it's not your fault we're here to help you the rich is stealing from the poor uh this party is hates that party and they hate you and you're this color so you're hated for these reasons and all of this bullshit that is fed to the poor trying to gain their vote that does nothing to help them move forward and th- when you are around that constantly, when that's all you hear. So not only are the people in charge, the people who send you checks, the people who take care of you from your perspective telling you this, but then everybody around you feels that. Everybody around you is part of that. Everyone else thinks that also. There's nobody around you that goes, uh, let me think about that. That Maybe doesn't make sense. Just us being lazy. It, nobody going, I don't believe that shit. I have my own destiny. destiny. That's me. That, that I was the one, but I was the one who didn't drink beer because it tasted like shit. So when everybody else was, you know, again, I'm a fucking kid from the street that doesn't drink alcohol, that doesn't do drugs, that doesn't smoke cigarettes. How is that fucking possible? Because on the side of the pack, when I was a kid, the pack said smoking these cigarettes is harmful for you and may kill you. And I was like, well, fuck that. You know, what am I going to go go inhale the raid Bug cl- cleaner, <laughs> right? It says on it too not to eat it, not yeah. to suck that down, or it's poisonous and it'll kill you. So I didn't do that either. Um, so I was, knock on wood, thank God, I was the one who didn't go down that path, who didn't make those mistakes, who didn't do those things. Now I had more at my more than my fair share of trouble. <laughs> my trouble just wasn't related to any of those things. But I never believed. I never listened. Maybe it's my stubbornness. Maybe I'm too stupid. It could be that I was just too dumb to listen. Maybe I was too stupid to know too stupid to know that I couldn't get out. And I wouldn't blame anybody else. I was too stupid not to blame. And I'm sure, and I don't remember anything specific, but in the recesses of my mind as I think about it, I'm sure that I was questioned as to why I'm putting in the effort. Why are you working so hard? What You're crazy for getting up so early. You're crazy for working all of the hours that you do. You're crazy for coming home at the times that you do. I'm sure you're crazy to work for that fucking job. That job's a piece of shit. It's below you, all of that. Meanwhile, you're standing on the street corner. So that work ethic, that's the other thing, kept me off the streets a, a lot of the time. It could have been a lot worse for me had I not had I not worked. But I had to work because I wanted to get my own money. And I never took a fucking dime. I never took a dime. I mean, I took a dime when I was a kid from the government, right? Because I didn't have a choice. My parents were on yeah. were on subsidies and all the rest of that. But as an adult, I fed my fucking self. And I always had the pride inside of me to say, I will feed myself. I'm not going to ask for help. I'm going to fucking feed myself. And that's 11 years old. 